how to make vinegar if the world is dead, the grocery stores are looted, and your only seasoning is despair. The cities are silent, the restaurants are rubble, and the last bottle of vinegar got traded for half a rat leg two months ago. Problem is, you need acid. For pickling, cleaning wounds, or just making your boiled shoe stew taste slightly less like boiled shoe. Solution. We're fermenting apocalypse vinegar. Find fruit. Rotten is fine. Apples, berries, whatever hasn't been gnawed on by mutant raccoons. Mash it up like you're making jam for the devil, then drown it in water. Add sugar if you've got it. Honey, soda syrup, even that last melted popsicle. Now, leave it out. Open to the air. Wild yeast will crash the party, turning your fruit mush into alcohol. Congratulations. You've basically made prison wine. Don't celebrate. We're not done. Keep waiting. The alcohol keeps rotting thanks to acetic acid bacteria, the microscopic jerks that transform booze into vinegar. Weeks later, strain the sludge. What's left? Vinegar. Sharp, sour, and mean. It sterilizes wounds, preserves food, and might even make rat jerky taste like something you chose to eat. If it burns your nose, congrats. It worked. If it burns your soul, congrats twice. You're still alive.